क्वेश्चन ऑन मार्बल्स और यू कैन ऑल्सो से ऑन डिफरेंट कलर बॉल्स Yes. Let's say the question says something like this: A bag consists of six red marbles and eight green marbles, and you have to pick one marble at a time. And the question will be something like this: What is the probability of getting a red marble? Probability of getting a red marble. So, where do I start from? my probability is nothing but number of favorable cases upon total number of cases total number of cases in this case 8 green and 6 red 8 and 6 gives me 14 in how many different ways can you select one marble out of total of 14 marbles it will be nothing but 14 c 1 now red marbles what are my favorable cases red how many red marbles do i have 6 so my favorable case will be 6 and 14 c 1 if you remember is nothing but n c 1 which is nothing but n so it is nothing but 6 upon 14 now if i ask you what is probability of getting a green marble probability of getting a green marble quickly 14 c 1 total number of cases is 14 c 1 that is nothing but 14 And green marble is eight, eight upon fourteen. Now instead of picking one marble from a bag which consists of six red and eight green, from the same bag which con consists of six red and eight green, if I pick two marbles, if I pick two marbles, I can pick two marbles in two different ways. start thinking what are they one way of picking two marbles is i can pick them simultaneously when i say simultaneously it is nothing but picking both the marbles at once that is i drop my hand into the bag i pick two marbles simultaneously at once now the other way of picking two marbles is what one after the other when i say one after the other what do i mean by that now i put my hand into the bag i pick one marble and then again for the next marble i put my hand in the bag again and pick and have a look at the color so in this i can pick it in two different ways what are they the first way is with replacement and the second way is without replacement what do you mean by this with replacement and without replacement now when you are picking one one after the other you are picking marbles one after the other initially you put your hand into the bag uh, draw one marble out have a look at its color and put it back inside now what are you doing when you are putting it back inside you are replacing the marble back into the bag now in this case you put your hand into the bag pick out one marble have a look at its color and drop it outside the bag so the total number of marbles will reduce so the two ways you can pick is with replacement and without replacement let's get started with questions on marbles now here i have a bag which consists of six red marbles and eight blue marbles and we'll be picking one marble at a time the question will be something like this what is probability of getting a red marble what is my formula for probability it is nothing but favorable cases upon total number of cases i'll start with the denominator that is my total number of cases total number of cases are how many 8 blue and 6 red 8 and 6 gives me 14 yes how many are picking i'm picking one marble out of total of 14 in how many different ways can it be done 14 c 1 favorable cases of getting a red is 6 in how many different ways can you pick one red marble out of total of 6 red marbles 6 c 1 we know that n c 1 is equals to n 
So can I directly write it as, as to be 6 upon 14? Yes. Now if he asks you what is probability of getting a blue marble? Total number of cases 14. Probability of getting a favorable case for getting a blue? 8. 8 upon 14. Now in this case we were picking only one marble. Let me increase my number of picks. I say pick two marbles. There are two different ways in which you can pick two marbles. One is simultaneously and the other one is one after the other. Within one of the one after the other, it can be done in two ways. With replacement, and without replacement. Let's understand what these are. Simultaneously meaning, let's say I have the same bag here which consists of 6 red and 8 blue marbles. Simultaneously meaning, I'll put my hand into the bag, I'll pick out both the marbles, that is picking two marbles, I'll pick out both the marbles at once. One after the other, pay attention one after the other with replacement okay now i put my hand into the bag take a marble out have a look at its color drop it back into the bag and then i pick another marble and have a look at its color and put it back into the bag now what happened to the characteristics of the bag the characteristics of the bag remained the same that is there were 14 marbles all the time now observe one after the other without replacement this time i put my hand into the bag Take out a marble, have a look at its color, drop it outside the bag and then again I pick out another marble and have a look at its color and drop it outside the bag. Now, when I pick the second time in one after the other case, the characteristics of the bag changed? Yes. Here, when the characteristics of the bag changes, it is without a replacement. Let's take up examples on picking the same two marbles and try to understand it better. Here also, we will be dealing with a bag which consists of 6 red marbles and 8 blue marbles. Here we will be solving simultaneous case, one after the other with replacement and one after the other without replacement. Let's get started with the question. The first question says, probability of getting both has to be red. I will be dealing with the language part first. What will be the language part? Both red, meaning red and red. One after the other. The first pick must be red. What is the conjunction that we are going to use? And. And the second pick also must be a red. Here without replacement it will be the same as this one. First pick must be red. And the second pick also must be a red. Now both red. Probability. Where do we start from? From the denominator. That is my total number of cases. How many marbles am I picking? Two marbles. Out of total of how many? 6 and 8, 14. In how many different ways can it be done? It can be done in 14 C2 ways. Selecting two marbles out of total of 14 marbles can be done in 14 C2 ways. Now, both should be red. Favorable cases for having a red, getting a red marble is 6. Now, I have to select two red marbles out of total of six marbles. In how many different ways can it be done? It can be done in six C, two ways. Yes. Now, coming down to the question on one after the other. Total number of cases? 14 C, one. Can I directly write it as to be 14 here? What will be my favorable cases of getting a red marble? Six. And represents? multiplication operation my total number of cases will be 14 again because I have after having a look at the color of the marble I've put it back into the bag so characteristics of the bag remain the same and it will be 14 again and favorable cases will be for getting a red marble is 6 pay attention towards this one total number of cases 14 favorable cases for getting a red 6 now, after having a look at the color of the marble, what did I do? In without replacement case, I dropped the marble outside the bag. 
that is I'm not replacing it back into the bag. So total number of marbles will be reduced by how much? One. So favorable cases now will be five. Yes. The next I'll write the condition for you and you are going to help me solve this question and put your answers in the comment box. So probability of both blue. Blue, blue. The first here one after the other. The first pick must be blue and the second pick must be blue. Again, first pick must be blue and the second pick must be blue. We appreciate your answers in the comment box. Please uh, answer these questions in the, uh, drop your answers in the comment box with respect to this question. Now, coming to the question, probability of both same color, language part, both same color. They can either be both red, red, the conjunction or they can be blue, blue. One after the other. The first pick has to be same color, red. And the second pick has to be red. Or the first pick can be blue. And the second pick also has to be blue. The same language part will repeat here as well. That is red and red or blue and blue. Now, coming to the part. Total number of cases. Total number of cases. 14 C 2. Favorable case for getting a red. In how many different ways can you select two red marbles out of total of six red marbles? 6 C 2. R represents addition operation. In how many different ways can you select two blue marbles out of total of eight blue marbles? That is my favorable cases. 8 C 2. Here. Total number of marbles. One after the other case. 14. Favorable case for red will be how much? 6. And I am replacing back into the bag. So characteristics remain the same. And the total number of marbles will be 14. And favorable case for red will be 6 again. R represents addition operation. Blue, total number of cases is 4. Favorable case for getting a blue is 8. And represents multiplication operation. Again, characteristics will remain the same here. So 14 again and 8. One after the other. Pay attention. This is a bit tricky. Now, total number of marbles? 14. Favorable cases for getting a red marble? 6. And represents multiplication. Total number of cases will be reduced by 1. Why? Because I had a look at the color of the marble and I dropped it outside the bag. So, 13. And what will happen to my favorable cases? 5. R represents addition operation. Total number of cases is 14. Getting a blue marble is 8. Reduced by 1. Total number of uh, marbles in the bag. And this will be 7. Yes. Now, can you guys help me with the uh, language part here for this one? Just check. Probability of both different color. Both different color. So, it can be red and blue. Or blue and red. How many of you went with this? This is wrong. Just start thinking. When you are picking two marbles simultaneously from a bag. Let's say you picked out a blue and a red marble. Now keep looking at it. Now is there any difference between blue and red and red and blue? No. Both the cases are the same. But why did you write it twice here? So, this is very important when it comes to simultaneous case, when both different colors are there, you should be aware that the both the colors will be same. The red and blue or blue and blue, both the combinations are one and the same. Coming to total number of cases. Total number of cases. Selecting two marbles out of total of 14 marbles, 14 C2. Selecting a Selecting one red marble out of total of six red marbles can be done in six C one ways and blue marble will be eight C one. The language part here will be what? Both must be different color red and blue. The first pick must be red and the second pick must be blue or my first pick can be blue and the second pick can be 
red. The same language will come here. Red and blue or blue and red. So let's deal with the numbers here. Total number of cases, 14. Getting a red, 6. And represents multiplication. Total number of cases will remain the same, that is 14. And favorable cases for blue is 8. Or represents addition operation. Total number of cases will be 14 again. And getting a blue marble, favorable cases is 8 and represents multiplication. Total number of cases will remain the same because the characteristics have been maintained. And red marble will be 6. This is the tricky one. So pay attention. Total number of cases, 14. Favorable cases of getting a red, 6. Now. Total number of cases will be reduced by 1 as we are dropping one marble outside the bag. But the favorable cases for blue, it will remain the same. That is 8. Or represents addition. Total number of cases is 14. Prob uh, favorable fa cases for getting a blue marble is 8. And as multiplication, total number of cases will be reduced by 1. That gives me a 13. And red will remain 6. This question he were here, we were picking how many marbles? We are picking two marbles. What if we are picking three marbles? Or if the, in this condition we had only one bag, what if I have two bags? These type of questions will be taken up in our advanced courses. If you want to watch more free videos, download our app LOL from the Play Store. And if you have benefited by the videos you just watched, do like and share them. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. If you have any queries or doubts, please do drop them in the comment section. You can also reach out to me or my team through any of the social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram, the link for which is provided in the description below. You can also get latest updates about upcoming examinations and our new courses on our social media platforms.